It's Gray, once again, coming to you from Between the Black and the White. Hey, let's do something just for fun today. Let's have a ghost story. Now, it's not a scary ghost story. This is the legend of the Gray Man. And the Gray Man is a ghost who appears at Pauly's Island, South Carolina, uh, in advance of hurricanes or other big storms. And as you may know, if you watched the little host introduction that I did for this series, when I moved to South Carolina and learned about the Gray Man, I automatically latched on to the Gray Man as something of an alter ego, simply because my name is Gray Reinhardt. But you can learn about the Gray Man uh, from sources like Ghosts of the Carolinas by Nancy Roberts, a nice little book. Um, and she actually tells us that the Gray Man first appeared at Pauly's Island in 1822 and is associated with the fiancé of a plantation owner's daughter. And the fiancé, whose name we don't know, I don't think we know the name of the plantation owner or his daughter either. But the fiancé had been abroad for a couple of years, had just returned, and was going to visit her, and riding on a horse, decided to take a shortcut. And the shortcut turned out not to be what he expected because he rode his horse into a bog, into basically quicksand, and they both ended up dying. And she was inconsolable at this and for a time would wander on the beach. And at one point she's walking along the beach and a figure in gray uh, is walking toward her and disappears. Later she had a dream in which she was floating in the ocean amid a bunch of debris and all of these things together convinced her family that they needed to leave, if for no other reason than just to get her into a different environment where she might be able to get over the loss of her fiancé. So they left Polly's Island. And shortly thereafter, a hurricane hit. And the hurricane destroyed almost everything and killed a lot of people. And so the idea that there was this spirit, this gray man, who would appear before storms, and if you saw him, you would take that as a warning, um, began to grow. Miss Roberts tells us that the gray man appeared also in 1893 uh, before a tidal wave, and then in 1954 before Hurricane Hazel. And I understand that there are other reports that uh, the gray man also appeared before Hurricane Hugo. And in each case, people who saw the gray man either were saved themselves if they stayed in the area, or if they left, their property generally was unscathed, uh, whereas homes on either side could end up being destroyed. I particularly liked that notion um, that the gray man is someone who issues a warning, and if you heed the warning, then things work out well for you. And so it was natural for me to uh, use the gray man, as I said, as something of an alter ego. You can find the gray man written about in other books. Uh, I'll plug this one by a friend of mine, Civil War Ghosts of South Carolina by Tally Johnson. Tally has a number of uh, books about ghosts uh, from up and down the state of South Carolina. And if you like, uh, like ghost stories, I encourage you to look for his books. Thanks a lot for spending some time with me here today. Uh, you can think of it as you know, the gray man is talking to you, and if you heed the gray man's warning, you'll make it through the storm. Or you can just take it from me as Gray Reinhardt that I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me. I'd love it if you left me a comment down below or sent me an email message or a message on social media. Just keep in touch. Let me know how I can help you and what else you might want me to talk about in this series. Thanks again. And remember, between the black and the white is where you find gray. <laughs>